James Voss from Tufts Mansion Bed and Breakfast in Nilsville, Wisconsin. The B&B with history and all that jazz. This morning I'd like to make praline pecan French toast, one of our guests' favorite breakfasts. You first start by breaking eight eggs. Beat the eggs. Then we add a cup, two and a half cups of cream. A tablespoon of brown sugar and two teaspoons of vanilla. Then we completely mix that up. Now we spray our pan with non-stick cooking spray and put in one cup of the mixture into the bottom of the pan. Okay, now we're cutting the French bread into one and a half inch slices. First, just cutting off the very end and then we'll cut the French bread into slices. Now after we've cut our bread into slices, we dip each piece in our mixture and then line them in the bottom of the pan. Just pack it in full when um, the last couple pieces you'll be pushing the other bread away so you get some space, but you're just filling the entire bottom of the pan with the battered French bread. And then you take what is left and pour over the top. And then after you're done with this step, take a piece of aluminum foil and cover it. And then place this in the refrigerator overnight. You pull this out in the morning and start making the praline pecan topping, which is a eight tablespoons or a full stick of butter. Melt that completely. While the butter is melting, we will toast our pecans. We have three quarters of a cup of pecan pieces, which we level out on our baking dish to get a even layer. And then we'll put it in the oven on broil for just a couple minutes. Now our butter is melted and we will add a half a cup of maple syrup and three quarters of a cup of brown sugar. Once it starts boiling, we'll stir it continuously for one minute. Take it off the heat, add the toasted pecans, then take this mixture and pour evenly along the top of your toast and then spread it to the edges and all over the top. And then place that in the oven at 350, preheated oven at 350 for 50 to 60 minutes. So this is our praline pecan French toast. You may want to serve it with butter or maple syrup, but many guests find that it's perfect just the way it is. And this is breakfast from Tufts Mansion.